Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Your spirit. The sisters in the Lord of Italy explain to us the context and celebrations. We wish them all a happy feast. Today is also a very significant day in the life of the congregation, as well as the four sisters who are going to make the final confession. We offer this holy mass for this congregation, more especially for this province, and for the sisters that God's blessing may be upon all the members of this province. Yes. Oh, The Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation and I will bless you and make you a great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and the one who curses you, I will curse. 
though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. The word of the Lord. Yes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel like according to St. Luke. Then Jesus, filled with the power of the Spirit, returned to Galilee and to report about him spread through all the surrounding country. Of the names of the sisters, one by one, who in turn expressed their readiness to follow Jesus perpetually. Sister Poppy Esther. Here my Lord sins support me. Sister Asha Eka. Here my Lord sins support me. Sister Fatima Peter. Here my Lord sins support me. Sister Kalpana Goro. Here my Lord sins support me. The celebrant will now verify the desires of four of our sisters, Hobi Esther, Asha Eka, Fatima Peter, and Kalpana Boro. My dear sisters, what do you ask of God and of His Church? We ask you to consider us till our death in this religious family of the sisters of the cross of Shabana. Brothers and sisters of worship, brothers and fathers, sisters and my dear friends, being the preacher of the Holy Cross, we begin this homily by making the sign of the cross. I ask all of you to make the sign of the cross with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We make the sign of the cross in our own times a day. And when we make the sign of the cross, what do we do? We bless ourselves. We nail ourselves with Jesus Christ to the cross. And again, the sign of the cross is credo in action. We recite the credo. We sing the credo. But when we make the sign of the cross, we are doing the profession of faith in action. What are we doing when we make the sign of the cross? We take our hand to the top. The bottom to signify God our Father is in heaven. Then our hands come down, and God became man and he descended into the earth. Then he died, he was buried, he descended to hell. Then again we say that God who descended to hell, who died, you know, remained there. He was again. That whenever anybody hears the name of Jesus, that person. That is the need. So that's what God has done. That's what we profess when we make the sign of the cross. And that's what we are celebrating today. The glory of the cross. The glory of the one who died on the cross. And today again, we are making, or we are taking part in the final profession of four of our sisters. So it is a significant event in the life of a province. What is the final problem we indicate? What we indicate that God is pleased with this congregation, God is pleased with this province, and He wants the ministry which you are carrying on to be continued. Dear sisters, through baptism, you are already dead to sin and consecrated to the Lord. Are you resolved to unite yourself more closely to Him by the bond of perpetual profession? I am so resolved. Are you resolved with the help of God's grace to undertake a life of perfect obedience, poverty and chastity to the Christ of our Lord and His Virgin Mother chose for themselves and to persevere in Him forever? I am so resolved. Are you resolved to strive constantly for the perfect love of God and of your neighbor 
for zealously following the gospel and the rule of life of this religious community. I am so resolved. Are you resolved by the grace of the Holy Spirit to spend your whole life in the generous service of God's people? I am so resolved. At the end of the questions, the celebrant confirms the intention of those to be professed in these words. May the one who began this good work in you see to its completion before the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. With profound faith and in total surrender to God, four of our young sisters will now prostrate before the Almighty to implore the assistance of all saints to be ever faithful to their commitment. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, hear us, Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. of God, pray for us, Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us, Saint Michael, pray for us, Saint Gabriel, pray for us, Saint Raphael, All the holy angels and archangels Pray for us Jesus, my spouse, receive the offering which I make to you of my person. Holy Virgin, my good and powerful mother, obtain for me from your divine Son, Jesus, the grace to be faithful to my vows. Most Reverend Archbishop John Mulajira, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, and you, my dear friends, I humbly request you to support me through your valuable prayers. With the offering, which I made to you of my person, Holy Virgin, my good and powerful mother, often for me from your divine Son Jesus, the grace to be faithful to my words. Mother Glory Mission here, seal me with your spirit to be a joyful witness of Christ's mission on earth. Most Reverend Archbishop, John Kalachira, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, and my dear friends, kindly assist me through your valuable prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Wonders and break of faith falls into the earth and dies. It remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. John 12, 24 Having experienced the self-emptying love of Jesus and focused on the mission of his Father, I come forward wholeheartedly 
offer my entire life to Jesus, my spouse. Holy Virgin, my good and powerful mother, obtain for me the grace to be faithful to your divine Son, Jesus. Mother Claudia Gesione and Father Peter Marie Gordier, pray for me that I may have the same goals like you to make a good God known and beloved. Most Reverend Archbishop John Mulachira, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, and you, my dear friends, gathered in this holy place. Please do support me by your valuable prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in, in my name. John 14, 16 Heavenly Father, I feel strongly called and sent to continue Christ's mission of bringing hope and life with new direction and bear fruit on this earth. With this conviction, I step forward to surrender my entire life to Jesus. Humbly prostrate before the Most Holy Trinity in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and of the whole celestial court, I, Sister Kalpana Boro, met Almighty God in the hands of Reverend Sister Annie Burgess, the Provincial Superior, Professor for my entire life of the three vows of obedience, poverty, and chastity in the congregation of the Sisters of the Cross of Christ. Most Reverend Archbishop John Molatira. Reverend Fathers and my dear friends, I humbly request you to support me through your prayers. Father in heaven, the desire to serve you is your gift and to sustain in your care. For this and for all your gifts, we give thanks and praise. You have created the family of man through your word in the Holy Spirit. You took our human nature into communion with yourself and made it your pride radiant with your likeness and adorned with the gifts of everlasting life. Even if it was to come upon her and your power overshadowed her, making her the immaculate mother of the world's redeemer. He was poor, humble and obedient, the source and pattern of all holiness. He made the church his bride, loving it with love so great that he gave himself up for it and sanctified it in his blood. in the joy of Christ, along the narrow way you have chosen, 
rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. Amen. May the thank your God make of you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the message of the love of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here for the sacred rites, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go, love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.